Hello and welcome to Everyday Simple Faith. Thanks for joining us today. I love summer and I love flowers. I love that they're blooming all in our gardens and along the side of the road and I brought some today to enjoy and share with you. I cut them and put them all over our house and my husband even wonders sometimes why there are flowers in our back porch and in our bathroom. They're everywhere because I love them so much. Another thing that I really enjoy about summer is sitting out on the front porch. My husband and I take our coffee out there and we enjoy looking at the flowers and watching birds. We put bird feeders near the flower beds and we love to see them come up and they, they fight over the seeds and they sing and they are just fun to watch. So we enjoy watching the birds. But I have a confession to make. I have a love-hate relationship with birds. You see, a few years ago, we decided to convert an old tobacco barn into a wedding and events venue. And if you know anything about tobacco barns, you know that there are plenty of gaps for the fine feathered friends to come in. And when they come in, they like to share their little gifts everywhere with me that I have to clean up after and disinfect. And so the other day I was working down there and I have this really nice heart-shaped wicker basket that I hung on a wall. It has tool in it and this hand-carved uh, word love in it. And I noticed that there was a bird's nest sitting right on top of it. And inside were some babies. So now I have to wait for these little birds to fly the nest before I can take it all down. And thankfully I was in there the other day and they're just about at that point. They're fledglings and so their nest is about to be torn down and cleaned up. But as I was fussing around and thinking about these birds, I was reminded of a scripture from Matthew's Gospel that talks about how God cares for the birds and the flowers, but how much more God cares for you and for me. And I want to share that passage with you today. It's from Matthew's Gospel, the sixth chapter, verses 25 through 34. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own." Jesus' teaching here is reminding you and reminding me that God cares not only about the birds of the air and the flowers of the field, but he cares about us so much more because he calls us his children and he loves us. I like to do a little bit of research about things that I'm studying in Scripture and apply it to my daily life. And I went online and I went to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America website and discovered that they report 40 million, that's 4040, million American adults suffer with an anxiety disorder. And out of that 40 million, only about 31% seek treatment. Prescription medications continue to be on the rise, and stress and anxiety-related medications are on the rise over-the-counter as well. Herbal remedies, sleep aids, and of course some people choose to self-medicate in more destructive ways. So what is it that we're worried about? So I decided to look at my life and the lives of my family and friends, and I realized that we just live really busy lives. We live in a fast-paced society, and in these busy lives, we juggle jobs, home lives, home repairs, 
family relationships, friend relationships, marriages, civic duties, social obligations, and so on the list goes. We have building projects at home, we have building projects with our barn, we have building projects at church, we have bills to pay, events to plan. And the older we get, we have our health to worry about. And if you're like my husband and me, we have cholesterol to worry about. Even the positive things in our lives can sometimes cause us worry, like the birth of a grandchild or adding to our family. Those positive things in life can also cause stress. And if we don't take the time to unwind from these busy lives, we can worry over things so much that will make ourselves sick. So while I can't speak to the medical side of this, I can certainly speak to the spiritual side of it as a pastor. And as I think about this passage from Matthew, I'm reminded that God cares about all of those things that you and I care about. If He cares about the simple creations of birds and flowers, how much more He cares about His children. I wonder if we were to place into God's care those things that stress us out, those things that we can't control, if we might be able to unload a heap of worry from this life and give it to God, trusting that He cares about us and that He will provide for us. It's good to know that God provides for our needs, isn't it? So as I take down that little bird's nest in my barn, and as I clean up the area there where it was built, I hope I'll be reminded of this passage of Scripture that God cares about me. He cares about you and He loves us. And maybe then I'll even enjoy the, enjoy the serenade that the birds give us <laughs> in the barn as I'm working. I invite you to pray with me. Heavenly Father, you remind me through the gift of simple creation how much you love us and care for us. Today, help us all to trust you with the things we can't control and ease the burden of worry in our lives. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us with Everyday Simple Life. I hope you'll tune in to the next segment. And in the meantime, may God bless you and give you a worry-free summer. Thanks for joining us.